my family, we had a series of photographs that were handed down from my grandfather. Particularly, there was one photograph of a group, I think, of about 10 men. They call themselves the Puget Sound Purse Seine Fishermen's Association. My grandfather was in this picture, and I wondered who they were. And I learned that this group of fishermen had lobbied the Port of Seattle to create a home port for the fishing fleet of the North Pacific. It turned out these photographs were of a specific day in Seattle history, and it was January 10th, 1914. It was a cold, wintry Saturday afternoon, and there were about 2,000 people down here celebrating. It was the opening day, official celebration of the opening of Fisherman's Terminal. There was a parade that came through uh, Salmon Bay, from Puget Sound into Salmon Bay, a parade of boats. There was 150 of the Seattle fleet, and about 50 boats from Tacoma came up. There were flags flying, there were bands, and I learned that my grandfather's boat, the Inga, was leading this parade. Fisherman's Terminal is a place that a community calls home. It is the winter port for a majority of the fleet that fishes in Alaska, and it's just a big support group um, all here for, for the fishing industry. The memorial is at the center of Fisherman's Terminal. That's the only place where there's closure for quite a few families who've lost loved ones at sea. The fishermen and the Port of Seattle really support the memorial, and it's very important. Ballard is home to a lot of immigrants. In 1910, maybe 35 percent of the population was Scandinavian origin. The maritime industry is a big reason why these immigrants came to this area and, and moved into Ballard. I was born and raised and always surrounded by fishermen or people associated with it. So this whole region and this, this part of the city is, is caught up with this fisherman's terminal and the people that work here. And it was it created largely because of the lobbying and efforts of fishermen in this area who wanted a home base for the North Pacific fleet. Since that time, the terminal has grown to reflect the fishing industry. For maybe 200 boats, I think you can get maybe six or 700 boats into this terminal. And that's a lot of economic capacity, is both in terms of the number of crew involved, the skippers, the supplies they buy. Uh, I don't think you can minimize the impact they have on the community. Seattle is a maritime city. So we're very connected to this terminal. 